Hello everyone, Kirby Volt here, and welcome back to Let's Play a Zero Striker Gunvolt Blind. On the last episode, we did some of the challenges to kind of get a feel for some of them. Going back to previous stages, the first two that we visited in the first two episodes, which is uh, here, Anthem, and here, whatever the stage is called. I forgot what it was called. What was the mission called? Subaquatic Base is what it was called. First Sumer, I don't think that's what it was called. Anywho, on this episode, we're going to start a new stage. And I'm really curious what you want to do. I like... All these look really cool. This looks like a fire stage, and that doesn't look very fun. This looks like a forest. Let's go to a nice forest. How about that? The Pharma Lab. Okay, let's see. Your target is a flower specimen in Sumeragi's pharmaceutical lab. You want me to kill a flower? That's a new one. Plant man! The problem is the drug they produce from it. Ever heard of seed? My god. Gundam seed? I don't think that's how seed spelled in Gundam seed. Come to think of it, what does seed even mean in Gundam seed? I don't know. I don't watch a lot of Gundam. It's a psycho. Psy, psychothropic. Psy, words. Psychothropic uh, medication used to control things like anxiety. I could use that. In strong doses, it induces tempor temporary septimal highs and leads to dependence. Okay, that's not good. Maybe I don't want that. So whoever controls the drug gains leverage over a small army of overpowered waste. Uh, I almost said wasted. Wastoid adepts. Wow, bad flower. <laughs> Thanks, Gunvolt. Okay, I'll make sure it's destroyed. Alright, so that's our briefing. I want to go back, though. We should always make a habit to talk to Jewel before we leave. I hear you're doing great out there in missions. Just finishing them all... Uh, finishing that all as an achievement. But did you know Quill awards S and S plus ranks if you do really well? Yes, I know. What are you, my agent now? Jeez. Oh, you're a jerk. Get a little closer to Jewel. And we'll talk to her one more time. Because talking to her will increase her chances of playing the Anthem to revive you in case you uh, die in a stage. And I kind of like having God Mode. God Mode's fun. I know it's cheap, but it's fun. So I'm going to talk to Jewel quite a few times here really quickly. Because the game doesn't really prevent you from doing that. And actually, even though we have a mission briefing, let's just quickly look at the shop. Synth gear. Um, almost. We need quartzite to get this shield medallion. And the last thing. Let's do that. Okay. And let's talk to Jewel one more time. <laughs> I'm not sure what else that unlocks. Oh, that's the wrong stage. We're going to the forest. I apologize if being at base takes a while, but I like kind of get everything out of the way. Stratos, Lord of the Horde, feasts upon the laboratory's grotesque flora, but something happens. Alright. Let's begin the mission. I like these big robots because it's just like, Hi, I'm going to have fun destroying you. Get my airstrikes in. It's like cyber forests. Oh, what the- oh, there's a guy up there. Okay, hi! I don't like that thing. Okay, it, it comes out when I use my electricity. Okay, I'll just be wary of that then. Is there a way to kill it then? Like, have it come out. Don't like those guys either. Is this the flower they're harvesting? Because that looks like a robot. Come to think of it, like, what are some of these things? Some of these are, I think, people. Some of these are robots. I don't know why I was stupid enough to take that shot. Okay, good. Oh, crap, we got another skill that we could have equipped at base. Ah, oh, well. I will do that at the end of this episode, maybe. If I remember. Which, I might not. Okay, this is... This stage is weird. Uh, get, get... Okay, whatever, I can... 
Use my electricity. I don't need to keep trying to zap you. Okay, that thing. I don't like that thing. I'm not sure how to deal with that thing yet. Oh. Can I tag it? I cannot tag it. This makes me cautious, because that means, like, is the boss going to have some kind of ability like that? Where it's, like, immune to my septimal energy stuff? I'm glad I talked to Jewel, so I have God Mode, hopefully, uh... What, what the... what is this? Okay. That's what that is. Alright, and... A dead end? Hang on, it looks like you might be able to open that hatch in the floor. Try luck to find the switch directly in front of you. Okay, well... It looks kind of obvious. Whee! Oh, more? Oh, just... Just destroy it. Who cares about plants anyway? I'm kidding. You should care about plants. Go plant trees and have a good time and get oxygen. And get a checkpoint. Alright. But I don't think these are real plants. I think... Actually, maybe they are. They're very dangerous plants, though. I don't like them. Hello. Uh, oh, no, it's over spikes. We at least learned the spikes are not lethal, so that's good. Could you, could you get on my plant? You are annoying! These enemies are very annoying. I want them, to, I want to shoot them, and they're like, no, I'm gonna go hang over here. I'm gonna shoot you at these really awkward diagonal angles. I mean, that's good enemy design to make, like, an enemy that's kind of in the way, that's kind of a problem, that problem for the player to take out. I'm okay with that kind of stuff. Doesn't mean I'm gonna not get frustrated by it. Alright, hello. I want you to be dead. So I can take stuff from you. Okay. Let's be a little more cautious. Even though I usually throw caution into the wind and don't care that much. Okay. Use the burst. Um, okay. Both of them out of commission. I kind of like this idea of the stage, though, with the, like, using the logs as platforms and your lightning can destroy it. That's Something interesting, though, is that he can't wall hug like Mega Man X or any of the ZX guys can. He can wall jump, but then he just falls normally. Alright, so this looks like a mini boss. What is that? That is a demonic plant thingy. Is this, like, the plant that we need to take out? Open up, buddy. Uh, he's not opening up. Uh, uh, there's the opening. Oh, oh, yep, and the, the vines get destroyed by your lightning, so you have to... Charge that. Oh, come on. Not charge up. Come on. Open up. I just want to get to your delicious scent. Oh, dang it. He sends bees at you! Or she. I don't know. Actually, do flowers technically have both. I remember some bit of biology. But science stuff. Great, kid. He's IQ. Not very good. Flowers have both of the organs to reproduce in them, if I'm not mistaken. So flowers technically would either have no gender or be asexual or something like that. I don't know. They're flowers, and they're crazy because they're flowers. But they're pretty, too. Except this one, because it's trying to kill me. That's not very pretty. I mean, maybe I definitely look very beautiful. A nice photo. But I, I, I would prefer not to see it. Okay. Uh, almost there. Oh my goodness, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing very well in my combo here, but... 
Okay, there we go. Got the airstrike at least. So I got some points. Yeah, I guess I could have used one of my abilities, but I kind of say I don't really like using those that often. I've noticed. You do not get points for destroying gates. That would be silly. Alright, checkpoint. So I'm assuming it's the second half of the stage now. Not the boss yet. You have a flamethrower. That's dangerous. Please don't. Please, almighty goodness gracious, do not flamethrower. Unless it's the special space balls flamethrower. Which don't exist. Because apparently... Uh, when space balls... Okay, so... I don't know the age demographic of people who watch my channel. I'll, so if you don't know the movie Spaceballs, it is an 80s movie that was released uh, in the 80s. I am good at words. It was an 80s movie by Mel Brooks, who is like the king of parody. It parodied basically a lot of different things of the sci-fi genre, specifically Star Wars. Um, when he was making it, he actually got uh, Lucas's company, Industrial Light and Magic, to help him out with uh, some of the effects some of their practical effects, this is before episode one and whatnot. And, um, a stipulation Lucas made allowing uh, Brooks to make the film is he said, you can't have any actual merchandise because we don't want uh, people confusing your stuff with actual official Star Wars merch. I have no idea why he thought we would confuse those two things, but that was a stipulation. So that makes that there's a scene in Spaceballs where one of the characters literally is trying to sell merchandising about, like, talking about how popular a franchise game it was. It was, it was, a, it was a funny joke. And, um, literally it's this giant room of merchandising. And, uh, one of them is Flamethrower. And the- Okay, that is an evil fog thingy! Okay, we'll just ignore it. Uh, hence the thing where it's like Spaceballs the Flamethrower! And... So there's this huge merchandising thing, but it's kind of like, oh, but they actually couldn't actually have real merchandising, so this scene is kind of silly in that regard, because it's like, here's merchandising that you can never actually have. And that is my short little story about that, because we saw a flamethrower, and this is very dangerous, I don't like it at all. I have to run into that fog, went away. Was it a fog? Was it the bee storm? Just don't know. It's kind of hard I don't know enough to see where you are in the tr Okay, there it's back, it's back. I am moving, moving, it's doing damage, moving. Now, I'm not good at picking stages if I want to survive. Oh, I burnt out. Right. Okay, it doesn't pursue you in these sections. Thank oh, no it does, no it does, oh, oh. Oh, okay. So it's not chasing you per se. So let's see, I think I have an idea. Is it gonna come back? Let's actually show myself on the screen. Show GV. Right. So just do that. Okay, that's what they want you to do. I'm kind of smart, maybe. That is a cool idea. I like that. Okay, because I was, I was worried because it was just like, I was like, I thought it was going to be another water thing, but no, they wanted you to actually, like, deflect it. That's cool. I appreciate that kind of uh, design. It's nifty. Alright, I think then we should be at the boss. These aren't particularly long stages from what I understand, but, uh... Who knows, maybe I might be surprised. Oh, no, here's the person. You smell juicy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Green giants? Let me have a taste of that lip-smacking serum. Give me a licky- Okay, you're- you're creeping me out, buddy. I could tell at once that this guy was perfectly normal. <laughs> Thank you, GV. That is what we are all thinking right now. I must have gotten the flowers juices on me when uh, we fought. Apparently, it was what the doctor ordered for the psychopath. I take it you're the adept controlling the N6 horde? Silence, do not talk, you scrumptious thing. You will only make Stratos come crave you more. That is... Oh, hey, you got a psychic sword thingy. What the... Okay. 
because of you, they will never make the hunger-stopping medicine again. And now Stratos is forever doomed to hee-hee eat. A little vic vi victual like you is just begging to be nibble and dribbled. I don't understand what. Okay, you're crazy. Okay, yeah, you're okay, Pac-Man. Is the, oh my, this voice actor sounds really familiar. It sounds like the voice actor from Prometheus from uh, Mega Man ZX. Okay, the original one, the Japanese one, not the U.S. one. Okay. Uh... okay, I can hit him while he's doing these attacks, but... He's kind of annoying! Alright, that's the best point to attack him at. Oh, okay, well, those guys just help through me. It doesn't matter if I have my shield up or not. Ah, Pac-Man! Yay, Pac-Man! Okay. Raise one down. Heal. <laughs> Ow. I don't know why I just ran into you like an idiot. I'm gonna use this, though. Okay. This is dangerous. Like, okay, well, I, I know how to- oh, you jerk! Okay, yeah. Oh, where'd you go? There you are. And there you go. Uh, oh, that's a new attack. What? Uh, okay. Yep. I saw that coming a mile away. <laughs> That was so choreographed, that wasn't even funny. Alright, I don't know what to deal with this, this attack, though. Okay, I, so, like, everything about that egg attack hurts you, which is not fun. And, okay, so he does that. Ow. More ow. At least I'm able to charge up fast. The charging doesn't take too long, which is good. Okay, I'm just gonna... I don't have to do with that egg attack. That egg attack really bothers me. Oh, God! Um, I am not gonna heal on the pretense that I'm close to healing him. And also, I might activate God Mode, and I'll be okay with that. Hello? Okay, here, your Nemesis Fang is your special move. Uh... You just help these yellow guys at me, these yellow Pico Pico dudes. And I just kind of dash out of the way. Like no one's business. And... Ow, ow, ow. That's what happens. And I guess I didn't talk to Jewel enough, because I did not activate her song. Which sucks. Alright. I do not- this is my least favorite boss so far. Ah. Okay, nope. Hi. I got a special attack, too. Come on! Tag him! Alright, those attacks aren't too bad. Uh, he's gotta follow where he goes. Okay. Do that attack more, I like that one. Uh, and here's the eggs, I don't want to do it for this. They're like, he shows up for like three seconds and is like, hey, and then it's like, okay, bye now. 
So this is a, a uh, boss fight that really requires you to learn the boss pattern and rely more on your blaster than your electric electro abilities. Okay, burned out. My bad. Ow. No, thank you. And this should be end of your second phase soon coming up here. Yep, okay. Third phase begins. I'm just gonna go over here right away and just use this. <laughs> because I can be a little cheap. And here comes yours, Nemesis Fang. Like, I have plenty of time to just zap you while you're doing this, so it's not like it's any big deal. Like, what are you even doing? I don't understand this attack at all. It's like not do- oh, wait, wait. Then it comes and does that. It's an instant kill?! Okay. What are we supposed to do then? Let's try it from the top, and Jewel didn't save us again. So maybe that's why Jewel didn't save us, because it's an instant kill, and she can't save us from instant kill situations. Alright. But now we have more of his attack patterns figured out. Oh, you jerk. You were right there. Okay, well I got rid of this stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna actually use it properly this time. Goodbye. Okay, first move down. I want to get to the second phase so I can have that attack that's much easier to figure out. Not that one. I don't like a lot of these attacks, buddy. That was so good. I figured it out. Ow, I did not get out. I did not hold it for long enough. Well, of course you still do the stupid egg thing. Now that you know what I'm up to. Well, there's gotta be a way to jump over that stuff. A lot easier than the way I'm doing it. And burned out by accident. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. So, like... Yeah, when are you supposed to jump for that? Okay. Yeah, I know what you're gonna do. Which is that. Alright. Hello. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay. Phase 3. With that attack, I don't know how to dodge yet. I'm gonna do this to you, because I can! And you run away. Okay, here, here it goes again. Ow. What are you supposed to do? I apologize for my incompetence. I knew it was going to happen eventually with this game. I, I, I know some stuff Inti does, and this is definitely one of them. It's not really a bad thing, it's just I, don't, I am not good at thinking on my feet as much as other people are. Okay. So I guess I'll try dodging under it, I guess? Just, like, dash under it? Like, because when you dash, you do get a little... Your head does sink down a little bit. Alright. And... Oh, so close. Alright, figure out that egg attack, though. So that's good. 
Yeah. Hello. Ah, but. Yeah, you you can laugh like that. Kinda deserves to after I missed entirely. And burned out again. I need to really be careful with my EP. Where are you? Come back, please. Sure, we'll do this attack. Like, this boss isn't that hard, just a lot of the attacks take a long time and he ha you can't hit him for a lot of points. It's just really annoying. I don't want to burn out again. I'm, I like- I don't like that he shows up for like three seconds, and then he's like, bye, and I'm like, oh, dude, I, I want to hit you. Please come back, so I can shoot you properly. Or don't. That's fine too, buddy. Okay, so I'm just gonna be a jerk. Unload this on you. Unload this on you. Good. That guy oh, you can destroy the things on his side. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay, so now I'm glad I know that. Now I have a potential strategy to do better. Hopefully. So close to being dead. Nope. I'm just gonna over supersede you. Yeah, have fun with that. I'm busy killing you. Okay! So that was a thing. It was not that pleasant. I apologize for my idiocy. We get a sword thingy! Mission completes. Alright. One star. Oh, two stars. That's better. Okay, that's, that's, that's okay. Ranks. You know what? I'm fine with that. It's a C, and that's okay. Three tries. What's this? Phase Fluid Metal. Let's take that. Obtain Mizuchi? Is that a new weapon? Okay, so I remembered one thing we should- oh, whoa. Story? A figure watched from the shadow as Gunvolt left the scene. The figure reached down and retrieved the shard from where the last adept fell. Another glaive sample. This makes the third. The glaives were a kind of vessel. Adepts who agreed to transplant their septimos into a glaive. Okay, so they're not swords, they're glaives. Into a glaive were guaranteed a high ranking place in society. In return, Sumeragi gained control over the adepts' volatile, volatile powers, a sword that can only be drawn at Sumeragi's behest. What good does a toy like this do anyway? Arakshasa? Arakshasa? On a leash is Arakshasa on all the same, an enemy to humanity. But I, not like the Supreme God, shall be one to banish those demons. Their twisted blood must be purged by human minds. Or hands. Whatever. Same thing, kind of. Okay. Well, what's happening? Late one evening, after Jewel had gone to sleep, I was getting ready for bed myself when an SOS call came in. It was Monica. Gunvolt, do you read? Come on, pick up. Monica, I'm here. What's the matter? Do you know what time it is? Yes, I'm sorry. Something urgent came up. An adept were after just fled into your neighborhood. Zeno was in pursuit, but took a nasty hit. Sorry, Jeeves. Alright, I got sloppy. 
Hey, are you alright? Hang in there. Xena looked like a kid around on the wire, but his skill on the field was no joke. The adept who dinged him up was clearly a cut above. Alright, I'm heading out now. Thanks, hey. Promise you'll be careful. I will. Get that wound tended to. Are you going out? Said Jewel, her eyes straining to stay open. <laughs> okay. I guess it is his story, so he's narrating it. I must have woken her up. It's late, Jewel. You should go back to bed. No, that's okay. I'll stay awake for until you get back from work. She was staring at me like I was the world's biggest hero. She looks like she wants to go back to sleep in this picture. Fine, I'll try to make it quick. See you in a bit? Okay. See you soon, Gunvolt. I'll be singing for you. You didn't last time. Okay, so we have a new mission that's for next time. Before we do anything, and before we end this episode off, let's save. I believe we got a new weapon. So check our loadout. Uh, wrong thing. Gear. Naga Mizuchi, you'll see. Redirectable, redirectable five ways. Charge to extend re redirect point. Allows one tag. Okay. I'm not being very good at uh, multiple, multiple tagging, so let's try this guy out. And we still have nothing of these. I apologize this episode went on for a bit long, but I didn't know all the stuff was going to happen. And finally, we did get two new skills. We have Septimal Burst, channels latent Septimal Energy to temporarily uh, accelerate EP recovery. Let's just take it because we have it. And Luxcalibur deploys a large electric blade in direction Gunvolt is facing. Let's take it out. That uses two skill points, though. Okay. Save! And that will be the end of this episode. Thank you all very much for watching uh, this episode of Let's Play Azura Striker Gunvolt Blind. As always, I'm Kirby Volt. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button. And if you want to see more Gunvolt action as we go into what I'm assuming is the midway stage, please consider subscribing. Hope you're all having a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, ciao.